Increasing the vehicle's torque and improving fuel efficiency sounds hard without any special upgrades or tricks. However, using a variable intake manifold makes it very easy. G'day, I'm Zach and welcome to Automate. A variable intake manifold is able to change its runner length, improving volumetric efficiency at both high and low engine RPMs. This is achieved by using a set of valves within the inlet manifold. These valves can be operated by a vacuum solenoid or an electrical actuator. The ECM will command the valve's operation to optimise the engine's power and torque across all driving conditions. Depending on the engine's configuration, there may be more than one vacuum or electric actuator. On a V-configured engine, there may even be one for each bank. This means the ECM can set high, low and signal performance codes for each bank. Looking at this vehicle schematic, we can see the intake runner solenoid receives its control voltage from the powertrain relay. The ECM grounds this circuit to control the operation of the intake runner valves. In this module, we'll be looking at faults within the vacuum actuator, linkage assembly and the solenoid. A quick test is to activate it with a scan tool while listening to the solenoid. To watch the full video or any of our automotive training modules, just visit our website to find out how you can become an Automate member today.